Deputy Speaker, and I rise to support the budget because there is much in this budget to get excited about. Yes, it's important that we boost growth and that we reduce inflation. But the thing, Mr Deputy Speaker, I'm most excited about is the direction of travel when it comes to levelling up and investing in parts of the country that have perhaps not had the investment they deserve in, um, in, in years gone by. And Peterborough is a place which I think is, um, is, is evidence of this. Because, Mr Deputy Speaker, in a cynical age where people are cynical about MPs and cynical about governments, you may often hear the phrase, what has this government done for me? What has this government done for Peterborough? What has this government, uh, the MP for Peterborough, done for the city? But I can point in a short walk, Mr Deputy Speaker, from the station to the other side of our city centre, and I can point to £100 million worth of investment in Peterborough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will start, Mr Deputy Speaker, at our university. £34 million to build a new engineering technical manufacturing university that's going to create high skill high wage economy that my city so desperately needs it's going to transform life chances for so many young people in my constituency a lot of people when they reach the age of 18 young people do mr deputy speaker what i did they leave peterborough now i came back but because of this investment, so many young people will not have to leave our city. They can go on to university, get good jobs, transform their life chances and transform our local hospitality and our entertainment sector. This is going to be a game changer. But guess what, Mr Deputy Speaker, there's more. Because we're talking about £23 million from our Towns Fund to regenerate our city centre, bring old buildings back into use, drawing people back into our city centre and creating the sort of local economy uh, that we need. But guess what, Mr Deputy Speaker, there's more, because we've got millions to build a new pedestrian bridge across the River Neen, linking Fletton Keys with the embankment, bringing this green and open space into better public use. But guess what, Mr Deputy Speaker, there's more because we're investing in our NHS in Peterborough. We're building a brand new NHS community diagnostic centre. That's 67,000 extra tests, checks and scans each and every year. But guess what, Mr Deputy Speaker? There's more. £48 million to regenerate our station quarter, create new access, create new retail, create new opportunities and create a gateway, not just to Peterborough, but to the east of England. These millions and millions of capital investment in our city, Mr Deputy Speaker, is transforming life chances for the people of my city. So when people ask, what has uh, your MP done for you? Lots of people on that side can't answer it, Mr Deputy Speaker. But on this side, in Peterborough, we can talk about £100 million of capital investment in Peterborough, a place with potential. And this is before, Mr Deputy Speaker. They don't like it, do they? They don't like it, Mr Deputy Speaker, but this is evidence of investment in a place like Peterborough. But let me just say this. This is on top. This is before I go on to the changes to childcare, which are going to benefit so many people in my city. And I declare an interest as the father of a three-year-old who is currently at nursery. Support for our pubs, the new draft relief, will help many struggling pubs. And of course, Mr Deputy Speaker, we will make sure that we invest in potent places with potential. And Peterborough is at the very top of that list. Yasmin.